everyone. In this video, we will be learning about heats of formation. So the basic definition of a heat of formation is the amount of heat required or released when one mole of a substance is made from its elements. For example, if we take a look at this, this methylamine, we notice that it is made of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. So what we're going to do is take it carbon, the nitrogen, and the hydrogen here. So separate the elements out. The next thing is you need to make sure that these elements on the left hand side are found in their standard state at room temperature. For carbon, that is a solid in the form specifically of graphite. For nitrogen, that has to be N2 gas as it is a diatomic molecule and the same for hydrogen. So these are the three components. So the second thing you need to worry about is ensuring that when you balance this, you are forming only one mole of your product, never more. So in this case here, you're going to need one carbon, you're going to need to have your six hydrogens, so we'll put a three there, and you only need one nitrogen, and in this case it's completely fine to have a fraction. So remember, when you're talking about heats of formation, the units are only going to say kilojoules, but it is implied that that is kilojoules per one mole of whatever substance you're forming. And that's how you handle heats of formation.